Hello, my name is James. I'm a portrait photographer from Portsmouth in the UK. You've probably not heard of me and I welcome you to this, the latest video on the Portrait of Wrestler YouTube channel. And we're going back into portfolio reviews today. And today we are reviewing the portfolio of Issa Marie. Um, Issa is someone that I've um, uh, met at numerous uh, wrestling shows. An absolute joy to be around. Uh, really, really a keen fan of, of, of pro wrestling and, and everything that comes with it. And I've, I've met her at a few AEW events and things. And she's a... A uh, big supporter of our online content, and um, just want to say thank you very much to her personally for um, for, for for all of the support that she's given us uh, online. Uh, she's always been lovely when we've met her in person as well. Just an absolute joy to be around. Really, really positive person. Um, she submitted ten images for us to view here uh, uh, on on the portfolio review, and we're going to have a look at them now. Have a look at everything in terms of uh, the the techniques used uh, with uh, in camera, uh, looking at the cropping, the composition lighting, post-processing, all of those sorts of things, and just hopefully uh, give some feedback to help take you and everyone's photography to the next level. So without further ado, uh, we're gonna jump in here. So as ever, uh, I've not seen any of the images um, aside from downloading, so this is my first reaction and my first instinct. I've just seen the first image pop up here of Dustin Rhodes uh, from, from AEW with his match against his brother Cody. What a, what a, the, the first thing about this image, great impact. Uh, a good freezing of the moment in terms of like that massive droplet of blood just coming down. Actually, what's really cute about it, and we can see if we go in a little bit closer here, is that there's a little bit of movement on that, on, on the blood droplet. So when everything else is is still, uh, you've got this uh, this little movement there of the blood droplet just moving down, helping tell the narrative. And what I like as well, I'm, I'm a big fan of, of arms sort of coming into pictures and then sort of disappearing at the crop. And... Uh, and, and giving us a narrative that way in terms of like allowing your mind to, to think about what's out of the frame, you know, uh, that helps sort of drive a narrative in your mind. So it's actually quite an, an, an interesting crop there. Not a huge fan of the big, um, of the big flare. It's a little distracting there. The background lights as well, a little distracting. And the line, I'm not, I'm not mad against the line. I like the detail on the on the tattoo sort of leading the line up here. So you've got this lovely leading line here and then the leading line here. And that's almost working perfectly on those little thirds there to sort of frame the face within it. Not sure we couldn't have come in just a little bit tighter on the left hand side. Um, just to just to bring our narrative in just into that tattoo a little bit more. Lose a few of those distracting elements in the background, particularly this area here. And uh, yeah, apart from that, just a, a really well seen uh, and well captured moment, um, especially with the narrative of the blood in the middle there. All oh, right, okay, so I was definitely here. Um, I was on the other side of this shot. I, um Oh, yeah, brilliant. Do a portfolio review and talk about your own work, James. Fantastic. Um, but I, I know when this, this is I, I, this is better than mine. This is this is lots of. I love this, and I spoke about this on a recent video about um, Fernando Medina's portrait of um, of Michael Jordan against Utah Jazz, and um, and about how sometimes we talk about leading lines of photography, and we talk about points of interest. Where's the point of interest? Where do you want my eye to go? Well, in this instance, you could argue that the eye goes to Cody in the middle. But really, when you have a, a tapestry like this that's made up of lots of different faces and lots of things happening, it's actually okay for there not to be there to be lots of, sorry, there's, it's okay for there to be lots of points of interest to sort of look in there. Um, I quite like the little faces of the security guards down there as well. But just look at it, when you, when you start going into the photo, and what I like about it as well, Oh, that, that guy's got a cool phone cover. That phone cover there looks like a game, an, an old school Game Boy phone cover. Oh, I like that. But what's cool about it is that there's a lot of phones up there, but not a massive amount. Like there's a lot of people invested in the moment and everyone's split lit, which is weird. So they're all lit with the spotlight that's coming from the left hand side here. So all the faces are kind of like half, you see here, here's a good example. All these faces are half in light, half in dark. That's actually quite a nice effect because what that does, because there's a spotlight on Cody, which is coming from a completely different direction. It's actually probably coming from just behind Marie. It's actually, it's actually made him stand out against the crowd, which is brilliant, which is which then means that there is a point of interest. And the fact that everyone's yeah, there's there's lovely narrative within that. Almost want to see more. I want to give any feedback. I want to see more. I want to see I want to see even wider with even more people there, you know? But great moment. Look at all these phones down here as well. The back of these phones here down the bottom's great as well. 
Yeah, I like it. Strong, strong image, strong image. Derby. Now, so this is where Flair is kind of working, as opposed to the first one. If we go back to the first one, where the Flair was coming out of the arm and is a bit of a distraction. If we look at this shot of Derby, he's looking into that Flair. The Flair has been well caught, well captured, with that, those nice beams coming out the outside as well. It's a little bright in the middle. Um, but that's okay. We'd be interested to see what this would be like maybe on a black and white conversion. A few little spots here from the ring flare. I don't mind too much. Probably just lose this very, very bright white one here, but I quite like this. But what intensity and what also great use of thirds again. So, so Darby's on this sort of like in, in this third here, he could almost be, a, it would be almost more negative space on this left hand side for him to look into it more. But what aggression. Wonderful capture of the, um, of the of the face paint. Wonderful use of rim lighting. So we've got lovely bits of light light just down the just down the the profile here. So that's working very very nicely. And uh, yeah, just needs a little bit of lifting in the shadows if we can. I'd but it, it, just in terms of like where he's gone very very black in the eye here. Um, the crop's okay. The crop's pretty good. I like that. Love the love the little bit of detail there. It just it, everything feels a tiny little bit soft in the focus, like there. I just want to see a little bit more detail, almost almost a little bit more pin sharpness. And I'm not sure whether that's because we're using wide aperture shooting on a long lens, um, but it just feels like there needs to be just a little bit of uh, of detail in the in 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 the shadow there, just a little bit. And I'd be interested to see what a black and white conversion on this would look like. He's wearing black and white face paint. He's wearing black and black clothes. There's not a lot of color in this image and these little areas of, of color here are just a little bit distracting. Maybe a little a black and white conversion would give us an even more punchy, more contrasty image there. Um, but yeah, a good good timing on that one as well to get that profile and to get that expression is great. <laughs> Smiley Kylie. Uh, let's have a look at this one again. It's not with okay So we've got motion in here where we've used a slower shutter speed. I don't mind that I quite like that uh, It's difficult when you're ringside because you have to shoot through the ropes if we bring down our guide here again Let's just have a look at this Let's have a look at how straight those ropes are it, They're okay to be fair. It's just that top one is just a little off But other than that they're, they're pretty straight in there, which is nice not a big fan of the crop of the, through the foot at the top. I don't understand why we've done it. We may have cropped in camera like that so the foot isn't there and we want to keep the um, the, the, the kick pads in there to help tell the narrative. Um, but it just needed a little bit of a little bit of attention to detail crop because we've got unfortunately again cropped through the ankles but also cropped through the top of heads at the bottom. And we almost just want to make that a little bit more simple. You could probably go for a real abstract one there to be fair. Um, good control of the backlighting again. And like I said, although we've used a slower shutter speed for something that is sort of like this point of, of impact, it has caught that little bit of blur in the hair, which has helped tell the narrative. Um, I think your point of focus though, unfortunately, has dropped out. And the, the, the knees and the legs here of, uh, of, of Brit look pin sharp, whereas the face and the hands isn't. So I think we're just falling out of focus just a little bit there. Um, with these ones where you're maybe missing little bits and stuff like that, just maybe experiment with a crop and do something a bit more abstract to, 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 to give us something just a little bit different there. But um, good timing on it again. Uh, amazing red, well what, a, I'll tell you what, look, that's strong. Oh, I like that. That's a stopper. So what I mean by stopper is my judgment on like for myself for when I'm sort of like deciding whether I like an image or not. My first telltale is if I'm if I'm if I'm scrolling and I stop, and and um, and that's a, a yeah that's a real it's a lovely moment. I love the use of the turnbuckle in the foreground because that turnbuckle you know in terms of like. I guess working your way up the ranks in this in, in, in the wrestling business, the turnbuckle means a lot because when you're a trainee, you're asked a lot of the times to help set up the ring, take it down, do all that sort of thing. And um, and I think that's a really lovely use of it there. I find the pillar on the and the red on either that's why I did that immediately. I find those bits a little bit distracting on either side. So maybe just a tighter portrait crop in there. Simplify it a little bit. Good lighting on him again. It feels a little soft again. We're shooting on a high ISO again. Just feels a little soft in the eye. Feels pinch up around the hair, but soft around the eye. 
but I like it. It's great. What wonderful use of lighting down the front of the chest as well there, just to sculpt that out. It's a lovely little moment with his head bowed as well, and we've made the most of getting all of that hair in there. I just feel maybe a tighter crop to get everything, you know, away from, to, to make more of that turnbuckle, I suppose, and make it again. It's quite an abstract one. Lovely shot though, really lovely. Naito. So I'm not sure. <laughs> this looks like uh, we're down in the ring first. Now, um, the lighting feels, the, what you'll find different, when you're shooting ringside, you'll find different um, ringside events will have different lighting setups. And this one, when we compare it to say like the red one previously, the red one's quite red. There's, there's probably a different temperature of light that's being used, but also it's by that red uh, bag there. So maybe there's some bounce back off of that light that's bouncing back red. When we actually just switch over to this one, we'll find that everything's quite green and quite yellow. You just need to watch your white balance and again as i've referred to in previous videos if you can as soon as possible get off auto white balance and start controlling your white balance in camera so you know what you're shooting you can always adjust it later on it's a nice little moment there's a few distracting elements the hand up here the blue area of a turnbuckle here I'm not a big fan of, of all the distracting elements on the left hand side here either i think it's all just it's not framing the photo it's just a little bit distracting uh, and i feel that maybe you know it, it give us more or less in the in this instance it just feels i think cluttered is the word i would use for that one um, and it feels like we're shooting at almost too high an ISO because almost everything's gone into very very harsh grain as we start to look in here and you'll find that you know that'll really affect the the quality of the finished image. Akada again good lighting good moment slightly distracting with that turnbuckle at the bottom I almost want that crop to come up just a little bit and just really make it almost like a panoramic there through the arms the belt the ring jacket good moment of him looking out of the crowd good positioning just feel that one needs a slightly tighter tighter crop on that one um but uh, yeah lovely lovely moment lovely moment omega this is i love these looking over the shoulder ones they're very they they're, it almost feels like a poster for a movie kind of thing uh, the way they're looking there and what you've what you've got there is that you've made the most of of showing off the entrance gear now what you find with performers in in something like wrestling um they they invest a lot of time and money and effort into the, the gear, into getting that right. A lot of design, they, often they design it themselves or they have a hand in the designing process. And you'll find that wrestlers, in order to get, or, or any performer, in order to, to reach out to them and get their sort of, make it a two-way thing when you're sharing an image, you'll find that if you focus on the gear quite heavily, you'll, they're, more, you'll, they're more receptive to giving feedback, if that makes sense. In, in the form of likes and shares and stuff like that because they've invested in this. This is really, they're wearing everything that's, that they've envisioned and they've spent money and time in. So, and that's, that's a really, really key thing, I think. So shooting cool moves and cool expressions and things like that is one thing, but actually shooting, shooting ring gear and stuff like that and really exhibiting that as you have done in this is a really, really cool thing as well. Good lighting on it, good capturing in the moment. I'm not sure the square crop's working. Distracting elements in the background here, these, light, these lights just in the background, just a little bit distracting in there i feel again some other crop would work there i think it may be even tighter or a long long one with him either looking into the negative space or coming out of the negative space on, on the left or the right hand side <laughs> is that darius i think it might be lovely little moment again from obviously what's uh, some sort of press uh, press briefing uh, press conference one of these things that are uh, or maybe an in it says in-ring interview up there so yeah I mean that's cool um, I like the branding on the microphones that's good for the um, good for the company I don't mind the leading lines at the top I think they're quite nice again the, uh, the the tonality of it has gone a little bit into greens a little bit I assume that's from a high eye so not a big fan of the crop through the wrist here maybe a slightly higher crop just to bring that in might might be the way to go with that or something even a little bit maybe this is the one to go a square crop with because it, and, and like a tighter square crop um by that i mean let's just let's just i never do this but let's just have a little experiment here so we're still keeping the branding in we're still keeping that hand in there but we're leading our, our eye and when we bring the crop tool up you'll see that there's like these little points here these little grid points here will give you sort of keys into rules of thirds into 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 you know into into what's important where you want things to lie within the crop you know where you want your eye to go 
and maybe something without those distracting elements and those distracting crops might 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 be something but i love the expression and the connection between the two of them is a really really keenly well told story last one here rios versus serpentico my goodness i'm sure i pronounced that wrong so the lighting here looks like you know looks like you know worst nightmare territory again for for a ringside photographer but this is this is really this is really well captured in that environment i like the narrative of the referee in the background i'm not convinced on the negative space on the right hand side but it's quite nice it's just that little crop that's going into the top of the hair i'm not keen on either maybe a little bit more space but that's that's the that's the that's the negatives part let's talk about the positives like the narrative of the referee this is great pin sharp on the face and the look up and the capturing of that moment. And the fact that his face is hidden above him as well with that hair is actually really nice. It's a shame that there's something, probably um, the ring light going through a ring rope or something is blocking the detail in the hair there, uh, which is a shame. But that is is really lovely. That's a really lovely moment. And, it, and it, again, it draws your eye around the frame. There's a referee looking at the guy performing the move on this guy, he's looking up at this guy, and then your eye just goes from one to the other. Um, darken down that background a little bit maybe and really draw attention to the foreground but uh, that's really well observed and really well caught so yeah love it well thank you Isa thank you very much for sharing your images uh, with us here it's very very uh, good to see them and I hope that the feedback is well received from you uh, if you would like to get involved and have a portfolio review yourself you can do email me portrait of a wrestler at gmail.com for more information anyone can get involved we've got a few queued up uh, ready to go but anyone can apply and, and get involved and we'll do that for you for our channel thank you very much for watching uh, give us a like give us a subscribe and as ever all the very best <laughs>